tell us about the Environmental Rights Centre for Scotland and the work that you do. My name's Cornell Hengsenfu. I'm the Rights Officer at the Environmental Rights Centre for Scotland. And the vision of uh, the centre is that Scotland, every person in Scotland has a right to live in a healthy environment and that it's fully realised. And the way we want to do this is we want to assist members of the public and civil society to understand and exercise their rights in environmental law and to protect the environment. Environmental law includes law relating to land use planning, climate change, pollution control, environmental health, conservation of biodiversity, and any other field, for example, cultural heritage, transport energy, to the extent that it impacts on the natural environment. What we do in terms of our work is we do kind of four streams. We do public education, which is to increase the awareness of people's environmental rights. And we hope to focus on areas of uh, deprivation and people from equality groups and the organisations working with them. The second area we have is free legal advice. So this is helping people to exercise their rights. So we provide um, advice for people who might have a query about how to access inf environmental information, or we can give advice on how you could influence or challenge a planning decision. Um, ben, our in-house solicitor's role is to help people understand the law, explain your rights, and advise you on what you can do to enforce them. We also work in advocacy and policy and law reform, and that's to really improve our environmental rights. Now, at the moment, we have um, a promise from the Scottish government that the right to a healthy human right to a healthy environment is going to be included in the Human Rights Bill. And so we are advocating for how that should be um, formed and what by people on the ground and people's lived experiences. And our fourth stream is strategic public interest litigation. So this is anything to enforce our environmental rights using the legal action as a last resort. And that really is a snapshot of what ERCS is. Why were you drawn to join the Alliance Membership Network? The Alliance is obviously made of many different um, organisations, very varying. The organisations are very in tune with the people that they work with and they support. And what we want to do as an organisation, of course, is to help people um, build capacity to um, exercise their environmental rights and be aware of them. And so we believe that through collaborating with the different organisations in Alliance, we are able to really reach those people that we think we need to reach and that really are kind of the furthest away from decision making sometimes and aren't very and may not be engaged in environmental rights but may need their rights met the most they might have the most injustices or issues um, and especially we want to work with uh, groups uh, with disabled people older people youth uh, minority ethnic groups, uh, gypsy traveller groups, uh, and different other equality groups, LGBTQ, um, to help these groups realise their environmental rights and to exercise them. And Alliance is uh, representative of many of those groups. It seems to be a very good place to, you know, share information, to talk to people, to meet different groups doing completely very, very different things. Um, but there is this central area that we can all just kind of and meet and talk and converse with. For information and advice, visit www.ercs.scot. Follow ERCS on Twitter at ERCScot. Telephone 0131 358 0038.